everybody, this is Justin with Red Island Shaving coming back to you with another video from beautiful Prince Edward Island, Canada. So today is going to be a review and some straight razor shaving tips for a good friend of mine. His name is Jonathan Steinfeld. Uh, he is the owner of Stonefield Shaving Company. And uh, he sent me this earlier in the week. Uh, a brand new tub of E-Shave Orange Sandalwood. Um, thank you so much, Jonathan. Um, super awesome. Um, most generous of you to send this to me. I know these creams are not cheap. I've had one in the past. I had the Verbena line and it's actually a really good performing cream. So I'm really looking forward to using this. I've been growing out my, uh, my growth here. I have four days worth of growth just to use this product. So anyway, we will get right down to it. So I have my brush soaking in the scuttle. I'm uh, using this this, this baby here is a big flop o -matic. shed o -matic. She's a bit of a shedder, but she works good with creams, so we'll give her a try. Um, so yeah, we'll get this lathered up. So there's the, the cream inside the tub. And there's a little plastic insert that sits on top of the cream. And just to show you guys just how little cream you need sometimes, I'm just going to scoop some right off. Just that much right off the top of the lid. And we'll apply that to the brush. Just like that. That's all you need to do with the cream. You don't need to... I don't really recommend dipping your, your um, a wet brush into a tub of cream. Soaps, yes. Creams, no. It's always easier just to scoop some out and put it right in your brush. And then go right to lathering. So we'll get this lathered up. I had a pre-shave oil in this scent before and it smelled really good so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this uh, soap smells once it's lathered up. In the tub it smells really good so get this whipped up here. Oh yeah that smells great. <laughs> it smells really good. Predominantly orange. And then a little bit of that sandalwood coming through on the back end. It's really nice, very refreshing smelling. Very refreshing. And this is whipping up quite nice already, as you can see. Just gonna add a little bit of water here. Just to make sure it's nice and hydrated. But yeah, this is exploding uh, with that little bit. I actually probably use a little bit too much cream there so you don't with creams like this you don't need a whole lot a little bit goes like really goes a long way like this is kind of getting out of control here you see the skull and the ladder it's just going everywhere that's great oh yeah mmm that yeah, smells really good Kind of might change up my aftershave. I was gonna use an e-shave uh, balm that I have. It's uh, the Verbena Lime, but with this nice orange scent, yeah, I might switch up to an orange-based aftershave. All right, so we'll get this on the face and we'll get going. Hopefully, everybody's having a great day. I'm in a wonderful mood today. It's my weekend off, and we can chill out and hang around and shave. And this might be just a little bit of water. This brush can be tough to lather with because it doesn't have much backbone. So I don't use it for soaps, I only use it for creams. Well, creams it works pretty good. That's a nice thick cream right there. So, with a new soap or a new cream, it has to pass one test for me and that is I have to be able to use a straight razor with it. If I can't use a straight razor I don't want it in my den. That's just the way I am and so for the review purpose um, once in a while when I do a straight razor shave I like to use a pre-shave oil and I do have a pre-shave oil that would go great with this. I have an orange pre-shave oil that would actually pair the scent perfectly but just to prove and see how slick this cream is. No pre-shave oil, all I did was had a hot shower, lathered up, and we're gonna get going. So today's razor is, once again, the Therese Isard Le Dandy 
5 8 round point. Uh, this was honed by Felipe Sanchez at Classic Edge. That's a great razor. So we'll get on with the shave here. So the first little tip for Jonathan, who's just kind of starting to dabble in straight razor shaving. Um, obviously, you want to stretch your skin. And it's not so much the angle, like a DE, where they say, you know, use a 35-degree angle. The big thing with straight razor shaving is to find the angle that works for you. We're all different. And the straight razor is a little bit more forgiving in that regard sometimes. So, you know, just basically get the angle that works well for you. And then just stay with that. So, we'll get just below the sideburn here. And away we go. That's well, nice and smooth. All right. Very nice right there. That's one side. Uh, the grip I use, I use the two fingers on the tang, or on the on the spine here, and one on the tang. I used to do it like this, but I found just didn't have as much control. So now I go with the two in front of the scales, one behind. Seems to give me a little bit more control. And now we'll go to the other side. My non-dominant hand. This is my left hand. Very nice. So, for somebody starting out, that right there, the cheeks, maybe for the first few times, maybe that's all you want to do is just do the cheeks. And then worry about the neck once you start getting the, the feeling down. For me, I was kind of silly. My first straight razor shave. I did a four pass shave. Took me an hour to do it, but no cuts or anything, but it was interesting. Cream's performing great, nice and slick. Now going over the chin there, Jonathan, I'm going on a very, very shallow angle just to make it over the corner of the chin without the blade digging in. And kind of doing a little bit of blade buffing there, which kind of just, just helps get around that corner. Okay, now go to the neck. Very nice. 
Now we go to the mustache area. Now you can kind of use the tip a little bit to kind of scallop out. So just get in and kind of just turn a little bit. Very nice. Very nice first pass. All right, we'll rinse off and go for number two. All right, tons of lather in this bowl here. It's nice and stable, so it's a cream, so there's no dissipation whatsoever. It's just a big fluffy cloud of lather, so. Get this applied to the face. Kind of grab the knot because it's so this brush is so floppy, just didn't really help get that lather on there. So this next pass is going to be an against the grain pass going from the right side to the left. And that's for for me a couple different uh, hand techniques come into effect there, Jonathan. Just basically through trial and error. So I figured out works best for me. And another tip, if I may, um, when you're straight razor shaving, especially when you start shaving the areas that you're not used to shaving, and you know maybe taking a while, um, if your soap starts drying out in your face, relather again. Um, the big thing is. A lot of people have a tendency sometimes to use a really shallow angle and if you use a really shallow angle with a straight razor and your soap starts drying out the razor will actually suction to your face so say if you're shaving like this the back side of the razor will actually stick to the lather that's drying out and it'll put such a shallow angle on that when you try and go and do your stroke, it might actually dig in and then that's where you're gonna get cut. So if it's taking you a long time to do a pass, um, don't hesitate to rehydrate the rest of your face just for safety, right? And make sure you're always doing deliberate mo movements. So I'm going to go this way across the grain. So as long as I'm moving in one direction, like on purpose, um, there's no problem right like you're, you're moving in a direction with with a deliberate intent but if you if going like this and I start to stutter stop and then start to saw back and forth like that that's where you're gonna get your cuts okay so I used to do my pat this pass like this I hold the razor like this I get down and stretch very very awkward especially on the right side of the face I found the easiest way was just to hold it in my dominant hand like I usually do for my for that pass on the right side of my face and actually turn the razor and go across the grain that way so this is just some things you learn by trial and error okay always stretching the skin Very nice. And here's where it gets a little bit more tricky. Now we try and now see if I can get underneath the chin of this pass. I think I can. That's a tough one there. All right. Now we'll hold it in the back hand grip. For me, try and get the scales out of the way. Stretch and go. Very nice. 
house. Just a little tricky area you gotta be careful for. Hmm. Yeah, it is tough to get right under here the way I want to, though. But that's okay. I'm not going for a, for a BBS today. I'm just going for a close, comfortable shave with a straight razor. That's the end result. Or the end goal, no blood, no irritation. So now we stretch the skin and we'll go across the grain. Soap is performing great, or this cream, I should say. Nice and slick. Lots of protection there. Glides good. Scent, it's not too overpowering. Um, it's, just, it's there, but it's not like just in your face. Lather up, go for number three. Like to give a shout out to a couple YouTubers. Uh, one of them, uh, the Northern Shaver, uh, friend Andy Campbell. A lot of you guys in the groups know Andy, and uh, he puts out some great content there on a weekly basis. And then another YouTuber I've been uh, introduced to through Andy is Spence Shaves out of the UK. Uh, he's got some really good content, some really funny videos. He's a nice on-camera presence. And his uh, videos are actually really enjoyable to watch. So anybody watching over here on my channel, go on over and uh, give those two fine gentlemen uh, a view, a like, a thumbs up. Leave a comment. and Kind of help support everybody doing this whole, uh, whole YouTube thing, right? Kind of what makes a doll go around. So we will uh, do our third pass here, most likely my final pass. So I'll go against across the green again, try and go a little bit sideways to get some of the uh, some of the stubble in the lower part of my neck here.
that's a first. It's almost BBS right down there. Hmm, very nice. And the Langle Pass worked pretty good there. Learned something new every day. Now we will go across the grain on my face. Chins are hurting. So right there, Jonathan, you're going to try and do against the grain. If you have to do short little, just short little buffing strokes, and just that might be the easiest way to do it. Trying to get those hairs right on the chin here. That's pretty good right there. Very nice. All right, go for the cold water rinse and the uh, final thoughts in the post shave here. All right, go with the uh, lemon witch hazel, as always, after every shave, great stuff. Looking like a good shave. It's kind of dark outside here. My bathroom is really, 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 really bad lighting, so I don't see any irritation. I definitely don't feel any, though. And it's just a nice, comfortable shave. So, anyway, that was the short little review on the E Shave line of creams. This particular one is the uh, is the um, orange and sandalwood. A great scent. Like I said, it's not in your face. It's just a nice, pleasant orange sandalwood. Uh, orange kind of being the predominant note. Um, feels really good on the face. Uh, lots of slickness, lots of protection. Obviously, you see me, I used a straight razor. Uh, no problems in that straight razor. Like most straight razors, is ridiculously sharp. This one is the sharpest one I own by far. It's the sharpest one I've ever had. And um, not a problem whipping that razor around the face. Great post feel on the face. Uh, like there's... You know, it's a high quality product, right? Yeah, you can't go wrong with it. So thank you very much, Jonathan, for sending that to me. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Super cool, guys. Remember, guys, check out Stonefield Shaving Co. They're a company. They're on Facebook, and they also have a website. Um, I can't link it on my iPhone for some reason. 
But um, just reach out to me there on the forums or in the groups or on the comments and I can direct you to his webpage if you so desire. And yeah, so uh, Jonathan, hopefully these tips, some of these tips would help you. I know you're a lefty, uh, you were mentioning. So, so basically, so the same premise applies. So if you're a lefty, this is your dominant hand, this is your left hand. You would do what you can do with that. On this side of the face, you'd use your right hand for this side. And if you're, I don't know, and I don't know how your grain grows. Like for me, like you've seen, if I'm doing across the grain, I'm mostly using my non-dominant hand to get everything from here over. But like I said, it's just something that comes to practice. You find out, you figure out which works for you the best as far as hand positions go, which hands you need to use when. I've seen some people that can use their dominant hand for the whole shave, but that's only basically a straight up and down or straight down and up, right? So that is what it is. Hopefully some of these tips um, helped you out, my friend. And once again, thank you very much for that cream. Awesome stuff. It's definitely staying in the den. There's no way I'm piffing that out. So anyway, enough talk. The last of the shave. I think why not? I will go with the E-Shave uh, Verbena Lime Balm. This is actually quite an excellent balm. And it goes a long way. I've had this balm for three years. And there's still quite a bit in there. And I use this quite a bit. So this, these E-Shave products do have some legs, gentlemen. You only need a little bit. I actually took way too much cream to make that lather. And I will show you the bowl here just as I'm signing off. Watch, oh yeah. Well, that feels great. It's a really good bomb. It's got a really, 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 really nice lime scent. It's, it's just wonderful. So, so I will show you what's left of the cream. I'm trying to scoop it all out so you can see there's still quite a bit in the scuttle there that I can't get out. And then I will pull out of the brush what I have in the brush. And that's what was left in the brush. And there's probably about that much again just in the sides of the scuttle. So that's from that little, that little dollop of cream. So I probably could have cut that dollop in half and had just as much lather probably. So um, anyway, if you guys are interested in checking out the E-Shave line of products, great stuff. I would highly recommend it. And so that's it for this video. Once again, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And um, hope you guys have a great day and have an even better shave. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.